Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. You know what? I'm done being so skeptical and judgmental of these viral Twisted Foods videos. The Big Mac Wellington was fantastic. That deep fried barbecue chicken pizzadilla was pretty great too. We can just forget about that uh, dipping sauce though. So I'm looking forward to this one today. You guys have been suggesting that I try out their three-in-one garlic knot calzone pizza. And going through it all, what's not to like about this thing? So shout outs to everybody who suggested this to me. Let's get right into this one. A lot of you guys caught me because I missed a video last week and that was somewhat planned. I worked pretty hard throughout October. I wanted to recharge the batteries and get some good rest and today's sponsor Helix Sleep has helped me do just that. Like most people, sleep's really important to me, so I was super excited to jump on the opportunity to partner up with Helix for this video. Admittedly, as some of you probably know, my sleep schedule can be inconsistent at best, but recently Helix has helped me make the most of each and every night and help me sleep better than I ever have before. And they know that everybody's different, so they made up a sleep quiz that matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. You can input your different sleep positions and firmness preferences, and they'll be guaranteed to have something for your unique taste. And if you sleep with a partner, you can take the sleep quiz together and find something that's the perfect compromise for both of you. Now because personally, I'm a back sleeper and like a medium to firm mattress. So a little while ago, they sent me their most awarded Midnight Lux mattress and I've been loving every single minute on it. This thing was incredibly easy to buy online. It got delivered right to my doorstep for free. And I can honestly say I've never slept better in my life. This thing is leaps and bounds above my old mattress. And keep in mind, if you're nervous to buy a mattress online that you've never tried before, Helix offers a 100 night sleep trial, so you get over three months to make sure you love this thing. And if not, they'll come pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. So please do yourselves a favor, click the link in the top line of the description, go to helixsleep.com slash David Seymour, get $200 off your mattress and two free pillows. And once again, thanks so much to Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video. So back over to today's recipe, and you might be asking yourself, how difficult and involved can a pizza calzone possibly be? Well, you're gonna need some flour and ricotta cheese, tomato puree and low moisture mozzarella, salt and pepper, heavy whipping cream, olive oil, warm water, fresh parsley and active dry yeast, some fresh garlic and tomato paste, pepperoni slices, crushed red pepper flakes, dried oregano, chicken breasts, some sliced bacon, Parmesan cheese, white sugar, butter, and fresh basil. Unlike in the original video where they presumably used store-bought pizza dough, I actually don't have any, so I'm gonna whip up a batch of Tasty's homemade pizza dough because I've already made this so many times and it always comes out great. The only thing I'm doing differently today is just cutting it in half because normally you make enough for four pizzas. We're only gonna need enough for about two. So I'm gonna be honest, the only reservation I have about this recipe is the fact that this raw dough gets rolled out, topped with the sauce and cheese and everything, and then baked. I don't think we're gonna get very good color on the bottom. I just can't help myself. Pizza is probably the only food I'm a little bit snobbish about because it's one of my favorites and I have such good options around me. But I'm not gonna doubt the flavor of this dough because it's got plenty of extra virgin olive oil in there. It rises two separate times, so it should have a really nice yeasted fermenty flavor. And I'm gonna let this rise for the second time just on the countertop and we can start up with everything else. Typically, a calzone filling is very simple. It's got some mozzarella and ricotta, maybe some pepperoni slices. This thing, on the other hand, is gonna be stuffed with more nonsense than the YouTube trending tab. I cooked off some bacon slices into a nice crispy edible state, and then I seasoned up some chicken breasts and threw that right down into the bacon grease. If you wanna do this also, remember to remove most of the bacon grease because if you got a pool of it, it's just gonna splatter everywhere. After I let these cool for a couple minutes, I shredded them up with a fork and then started working on my cheeses. You need a cup of mozzarella and a half cup of Parmesan just for the calzone filling. Remember to shred up some more mozzarella for the pizza topping at the end. And then I chopped up about two tablespoons of fresh parsley. I can say I've never seen this in a calzone, but one thing I can almost guarantee you you'll never see either is a cream sauce. Suddenly, we've traveled back two months ago to my Alfredo video. 
This is very similar to an Alfredo sauce. I don't know where they got the idea for this, but I'm sure it's gonna be tasty. I just don't know how long to reduce it. They don't mention it in the video. I don't want a soup, but I know the chicken and even the ricotta is gonna absorb a lot of this moisture. So once I had all my spices and cheese in there, it is time to throw this insane calzone filling together. Our shredded up chicken and cream sauce is gonna be topped with my chopped bacon and mozzarella cheese. The only thing I changed in this was the amount of pepper because we already have plenty in the cream sauce and it calls for a whole nother teaspoon here. So I reduced that to about a half teaspoon and once I had that and everything else in, I can let this sit, absorb some of that liquid and start working on everything else. Our red sauce for the pizza is gonna start with some olive oil, chili flakes and garlic. And by the way, shout outs to whoever sent me this garlic press in my P.O. box. It's taken me forever to remember to use this thing, but it's super helpful. So if you want to send me any <laughs> kitchen utensils or notes or anything, my address is right here. I have to do another opening on camera really soon. So if you want to be in the video, get it in quick. But our sauce gets finished with the salt and pepper, basil and oregano. Give it a minute on low heat to let all those flavors get to know each other. And we can finally get back to our fully rested dough. And in case you forgot, this monster is gonna have garlic knots separating the two components as well. And unlike the video, I wanted to form these first just to make sure I had enough dough to make eight of them. And thank God I did because I actually needed more than I would have anticipated. But once I had eight of them looking good, I started to roll out my dough mound and plopped it down onto my greased cookie sheet. When this recipe first came out about a year ago, I remember so many people hating on it on Twitter and calling it a disaster and a disgrace, but like, what looks bad here? I know it's very unique <laughs> and out of the box, but it's literally just a giant calzone made with ricotta, mozzarella, and a creamy chicken cheese sauce. A giant semicircle pizza made up of our homemade sauce, cheese, and pepperoni slices. And then plenty of homemade garlic knots that will, at the end, get doused in like a butter and parsley garlic sauce. I baked this thing off at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. The recipe calls for 20 minutes. I don't know where they got that. That was not nearly enough time. I whipped up my garlic and parsley infused butter and then gave my garlic knots a very generous brushing with it. Regardless of how good or bad this thing tastes, you can't deny that it'll most definitely be going in my pizza recipe museum. So let's give it a taste. If I just showed you this plate with no other explanation, you would think this was two different dishes not baked in the same pan and connected to each other. Let's try to get a garlic knot first and see if it actually infused into the dough. Oh man. Ow. Delicious. My dough related concerns were, were pretty warranted. <laughs> it's quite blonde to say the least. It almost looks like a Sam the Cooking Guy pizza. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. Yeah, I mean, as expected, the flavor is good, uh, but that crust is really lacking. If I were to just order this alone, it would get like a 4.9. Everyone knows the rules. And finally, this monster, still with a garlic knot and some pizza attached. I should have put some more respect on this filling. <laughs> this is incredible. It's cheesy, it's bacony. It's got that super tender chicken. It's like so well seasoned all throughout. I tried to tell you guys, Twisted is underrated and they have just done it again. If this was cooked on a pizza stone and had a crispy bottom, oh my gosh. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave me a big like. Don't forget to click the link in the top line of the description and thank Helix Mattress for making today's video possible. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you don't already. And other than that, have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you right back here next time. Peace. Super lazy Try and make a meal tonight They ain't pay me Try and supersize my life With my A-team Yeah, our style wasn't wavy But we had a vision